So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I, you better stop. Okay. So, I'm here today with another video. I'm so proud of myself because I really, really want to do the video. I'm here today to do a haul video. It's not a major haul, but it's a haul I wanted to do because I got some new goodies and I'm so, so excited to try them. I got some things from Mac, one of my favorite places. And I also got some things from ColourPop. And I have not opened any of it. Um, I bought the MAC stuff yesterday. And it's from the new, um, I think it's called the Magic Something Collection. But it's so, so cute. And so I wanted to share with you all on camera as I open them and see how I like them. If you want guys to like it. If you guys like them. I'm going to start with MAC first, my ultimate favorite. And I got. Four items from them and this packaging is absolutely everything okay like they didn't came out with many many collections but this by far has to be my most favorite packaging look at that that is so pretty that's really, 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 really pretty. I'm gonna start off with the small thing first. The first thing I got from MAC is this color drenched pigment. It's a pressed pigment. It's in this packaging. And the color I got was Night Thrill. And, oh my God, this is so pretty. Look at this. That is beautiful. To me, it looks like it looks gold, but in a way, it looks kind of lime green. So I'm gonna swatch it and see what color it come up on me. So yeah, like um, like a metallic gold. I don't know. I say like a lime greenish gold, but it's very, very pretty. They had five, four more colors, so it's five colors all together. And this was one of the lightest shades. So the next thing I got was this extra dimension skin finish in the color Shaft of Gold. And that is the packaging. And this one, it was this one and another color. The other color was more gold, but for my skin tone, I do personally like peach colors and gold. So that's how it looks. And that is how it looks. Look how pretty it is. It has MAC in there and it, it has a print in there. It almost reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters. I ha I don't own any, but I have some online and they have like, you know, like a design in there or whatever. And that's what this reminds me of. But this is so pretty. And so they go with this blue theme. So I don't know what, you know, it, it means, but I absolutely love it. Thing is the Enchanted Eye Brush Kit and Basic, and this one along with, it was two other ones along with this one, and it was um different brush options in each one. So inside the box you get this like amazing brush case. I'm assuming it's a travel brush case. I don't know, but look at this. You open it, and the brush is going there. And this is the front of it. This is so cute. I have nothing like this, and it smells like, ew. It smells like rubber or something. It comes with five brushes. So I'm just going one by one. The first brush is the... Oh, they have like, it's, it's like numbers and letters. Cause usually MAC brushes are numbers. So this brush here is a, like a short shader brush. It says it's number 213SE. And these are cute. I personally love shorter ha handle brushes because you have more control when you're applying makeup. This brush is a angle brush. And this number is 266 S 
E. I think um, MAC has a regular 256. I think I have it. But it's, the next brush is a powder brush. That is so cute. And this is number 116 SE. So these are the brush numbers with the letters. I've never seen it, it's really cute. So I would say foundation brush, which is pretty small. So I probably would use it for under eye getting into those inner tear duct areas or for my brows or to contour or to bronze or to contour the nose or clean up around the mouth. It can be used for many things. And this is brush 193 SE and that is how it looks. Now this is the brush that I was telling you about that is not a part of the permanent line. It's actually only with this brush set. So this is a blending brush and it's actually a pointed blending brush. Um, MAC has a 224, I cannot remember the exact brush number, but this is a bit more pointed than that brush. So it's gonna be really good for getting into those crease areas and blending. And this is brush 226 SE. But they all look like together. So this is like amazing. This is right off the box like this. And I seen this one, I really, really liked it. And I hope y'all go check it out and everything I sold out because this is by far one of the best collections. I don't even have all of them, but what I've seen, I always look online. The best one that looks the best so far to me. So this first thing is a makeup bag. Maybe good for traveling, but I would probably use it in my purse. It's a pretty decent size inside. And in this one, you get products as well. So the first thing is this False Lashes Mascara. And this one, because the brush is really long. And so you can really cover a lot more lashes with a longer brush. This, well, the last two things are a paint pot and a fluid line. So moving forward, oh, I love this. It's ColourPop. I absolutely love ColourPop. The reason for one, the prices are extremely reasonable. For two, for the things you pay for the products, you get really good products. And for three. They always have the cutest packages. I'm gonna keep this box. Oh my goodness. Is that not cute? Oh my god, I love it. I love it. It's wrapped like in styrofoam. That's how you know they care, okay? They care. Oh my god. Look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First thing is this super shock cheek which I believe is a bronzer that I bought. This color is happy hour, and that's how it looks. The packaging is long. And I'm gonna um, swap it just to see on my skin if I can use it as a bronzer or not. Ooh, it's soft. Oh my God. This see, this is a shade right here. They had other tones as well. So, yeah, you, you have to try. First one is the color coconut, and it's a super shock shot. Oh my God, look at that. And it's a blue. The next shadow is called Hustle, and it's a It looks purple, but it kind of looks maroon or plum. The next color is called Drift. I 
forgot in the back that I got the paint pot and the um, fluid liner. Also came this brush. It was on the floor. It's called Envy. And then production. The next shade is Lace. And as you all can see, I do love purple. Central Perk. This last one is called Mooning. It's just that's pretty much it. And I'm going to be definitely doing a tutorial using these products or just to get ready with me. I don't personally like tutorials like that because you have to talk through them. Talk throughs make the video so long. And I know I personally like to watch videos when you're getting ready. Um, we're trying to get ready with me. So I think I'm going to be geared more towards doing those. And what else? Okay. Is by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics in the shade Dahlia. I lined it with Max Night Moth. The highlight that I have on today is popping. Okay. And this is from Gerard Cosmetics in the color Lucy. These, um, you can see. These lashes are doubled up. They are Dells. They're 120s. I'm going to do a um, video on one of my, you know, everyday quick looks in here. You probably can't see it. I posted it on my Instagram. Can you see that? She did that. See? That's me, guys. Now you know it's real. And you know it's real. Let's see. And that's pretty much it. Follow me on IG, okay? Alright, love. See you later. I will be back with a new video. Love you guys.